when the world heard about the earthquake that hit Haiti, we were shocked. No one saw it coming. And who would have thought just a few weeks later another earthquake with more power and force would hit Chile? Two earthquakes, two countries, one reality. No one knows when disasters will strike. Seven believes that the best way to face the unknown is to be prepared. My name is Neil McDavid. I'm the program director of SAPN at Tower Communications for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Incorporated. I'm here in Philadelphia on the banks of the Squirrel River, which is flooded after several days of heavy rains. SAPN is the Community Emergency Preparedness Information Network. In this episode of It's Our World, I'll talk about what SAPN offers and how you can become better prepared for disasters. How did SAPN get started? Well, it all started in 2001 after 9-11 and the anthrax attacks. The deaf and hard of hearing consumer advocacy network DHH CAN decided to look at where the gaps are in emergency communication and planning for deaf, hard of hearing and deaf blind people. That report written by Cheryl Hapner at NVRC, the Northern Virginia Resource Center, found deaf and hard of hearing people were harmed by lack of emergency communication and notification. That deaf and hard of hearing and deaf blind were consistently left out of emergency planning and drugs. As a result of that report, TDI submitted a proposal to the United States Department of Homeland Security to develop a model community education program for emergency responders and deaf hard of hearing and deaf blind consumers. The result of that proposal about the emergency responders and the deaf and hard of hearing community taking the first step to disaster preparedness course. This course is the first of its kind that recognizes Emergency responders and deaf and hard of hearing people have to work together in training. Our courses are delivered by DHS certified instructors who are either responders or consumers. Activities in this course force responders and consumers to examine how their communities can be better prepared. In 2010, we hope to launch our free web-based training program, Collaboration Works, Inclusion in the Disaster Preparedness Cycle. That course will set the stage for a collaboration between emergency responders and emergency planners and people with special needs. SAPN is also excited and proud to announce its co-sponsorship of the Inclusive Hurricane Preparedness Conference on April 28th and 29th in Biloxi, Mississippi. This conference will feature awesome discussions on sheltering, evacuation issues, disability population demographics, and community partnerships. You won't want to miss all of the wonderful opportunities this conference offers. Remember, there's no better time to be prepared than now. Please stay tuned for a word from our sponsor, Hamilton Relay.
from the banks of the Skorka River in Philadelphia. Thank you for watching. It's our world from TDI. Saving the environment, one coffee cup.